What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a schedule. So I'm going to teach you how to create schedule, filter, uh, sort, and group schedule information. Okay, so this is again the continuation of Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. So we are now on the documentation uh, topic. So we have learned how to create uh, view templates, uh, duplicate views, and other miscellaneous uh, view properties. Alright, so let's learn how to create a schedule. Okay, so to create a schedule, you can find it here on the project browser. You look for the schedule here, which is this one. As you can see, we have already several schedules uh, created in this uh, project. Okay, so let's create a new one. So to create a new one, so you just need to right-click the schedules here. Right-click, and then we're going to select New Schedule Quantities. So let's say, for example, the schedule that we will be creating is uh, Air Terminal Schedule. Okay, so for from the new uh, category, I'm going to select Air Terminals. Okay, and then after that, you can specify the name here. It's up to you. What's the name of the air terminal schedule that you will be doing? So I'll just use here the default name. Okay, so the base is new construction, schedule building components. Okay, so let's select here. Okay. All right, so here on my available uh, fields from the air terminals, so we are going to put it here on the scheduled uh, field. So scheduled field are these uh, columns here that we have. So what are the fields or columns that you want to appear on your schedule? <clears throat> so let's say, for example, I want the type mark. Okay, just need to double click the type mark and then it's now there. If you want to remove a field from your scheduled fields, you just need to double click, double click and then it will be put back to your available fields all right so let's uh, double click the type mark what else uh, family and type let's double click that i also want to include the flow of my air terminal so flow and then i want to include the manufacturer and then the model okay all right okay and then after that the next thing that we will be doing let us now select here okay so this will now create a schedule of all air terminals in the project. Okay, so the selected fields determines uh, the columns in our schedule. So as you can see, we have the type mark, family and type, flow, manufacturer, uh, model. Okay, so let's say, for example, I want to sort my schedule. So I want to sort this one out. So to sort this, so let's go to the property of the schedule. So the, that's the one. And then from the properties of my schedule, let's look for the sorting grouping tab. Okay, so let's select edit. Let's click that one. Okay, and then here, instead of uh, showing every instance of my air terminal, I'm going to uncheck itemize every instance. Okay, and also I want to sort my schedule based on the family and type all right so let's select family and type and then after that let's select here okay and see how it looks like after we modify the the sorting and grouping tab so let's select okay and then you will now see here my uh, air terminal schedule okay so now the next thing that uh, we will be doing since the schedule is not uh, sorted by, let's say, uh, type mark, because we sort it by the family and type, so I'm going to put some type mark here. Okay, so let's say I'm going to put, uh, for this one, I'm going to put, let's say, A1. So I'll just need to put A1 here for this uh, type. Okay, so this change will be applied to all elements type. Okay, so I want that to be applied, so I'll just select OK. And then this one is like, uh, for example, A2. Again, OK. This one is A3. 
Okay, this one is A4. So I'm just showing you here that these fields that we are trying to fill in. So aside from going to the exhaust air terminal, you can also do that here on the air terminal schedule and it will reflect to your 3D model properties. So you can also do that here on our uh, schedule, which is what we are doing right now. So let's uh, change this to A6. Okay, and then this one is A7. This one is A8. And then this one is A9. All right. There you go. Okay, so now let us try to add a field on our schedule. So let's say, oh, since we have unchecked the itemized every instance, so I want to know how many is my exhaust air terminal. I want to know how many is my return air terminal. I want to know how many all of this family type. Okay, so that's why going back to my properties, I'm going to select the fields here. And then from the available fields, I'm going to select the count okay so let's select the count here there you go just double click that and then it will now be added here and then let's select your okay and you will now be able to see here the total number of my uh, air terminal right so this one is very uh, useful so for the a1 type so we have uh, 36 a2 we have 4 a3 11 a4 2 etc etc now if you want to change the positioning of your field here of your fields you can go to edit again so let's say i want my count to be uh, uh, next after the type mark so i'm going to select the count here and then you see there's an icon here so we can move that up so click that one so you can also move down to arrange your schedule so it's now here and then I'll just select here okay and there you go okay again you can fill in here the manufacturer of your air terminal and then it will be reflected back to the 3d view okay so let's say I'll go to the 3d view here that's my 3D view and then I'll just uh, zoom in. So maybe here I'm just going to hide the link model. So I'll type uh, VV and then link model, Revit links. I'm going to hide the architectural model and then I select OK. So I can see my mechanical. So uh, this one is what? So this is an air, uh, this one is lighting fixture. Oh, uh, this one. So this is an air terminal, that one. Okay, so that is what? Uh, supply diffuser and then if you want to check out what is the type of this you can go to the type properties and then you can see here that that is the a7 okay so we are the one who uh, modified this one from the schedule so let's say for example oh this one is not a7 so let's say this one is a10 so you can do it here as well on the properties on the type properties and it will reflect back to the schedule so let's say i'll type a10 and then i'll select ok okay and then i'll just click outside let me go back to my air terminal schedule so you will notice that it's now updated here okay so if you modify here on the schedule it will reflect to the 3d model so if you modify the the model the family it will also reflect here on our schedule all right so let me just change to change it back to a7 and then okay so let's say i'll just put the manufacturer here so let's say that's manufacturer a uh, this one is b okay this one is uh, c for the model, uh, you can just do it yourself, okay? So at least you know already the idea about it, about the schedule. So that one, E, and this one is F, enter. This one is G, enter. Uh, e, F, G, H, enter, okay. And then I, enter, okay. okay right so another thing that you can do here is let's uh, check the 3d view again 
think we only have one level here. Oh, okay, so we have uh, uh, two, two levels, I think. So I'm going to select this one. So this is located on second floor. And then the other one, this is located on ground floor. So let's say, for example, what I want to do, I want to include the level. So let's check out if there is a level here, uh, level field. Okay, so let's go to edit. And then let's look for levels. So fortunately, there's a level. Just double click that one. And for this one, since I want to separ uh, separate all the air terminals by level, so what I'm going to do is I'll go to the sorting and grouping. And I'm going to itemize every instance. Okay, so I'm going to itemize every instance. And then I'll select here, okay. Of course, by doing that, you will now be able to see the count here like it's all one, 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 because we itemize every instance. Now, for this one, I don't need the count anymore. So, how to modify? So, just go to the fields, double click the count, and then just select here, OK. Right? So, as you can see, there's now the level. So, we have ground floor and second floor. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to. Uh, sort this again. Okay, so let's go to sort. Alright, and I want to sort it by family and type. And then after that, I want to sort it by level. So let's see how it looks like if we add level. And then I'll select OK. And there you go. So it's now sort by family and type. And then it's sort by uh, level here. Okay. So what if I change the sorting and grouping? So instead of sorting by family and type first, I'm going to sort it by level first and then after that by family and type. All right, and then I'll select here. Okay, there you go. So it's now sort by, by level and then it's now sort. So after the level, it's sort by the family and type. So what I'm going to do going back to sorting and grouping, let me add a header. So let's try this. Let's put a blank line. So let's try this one out and then let's add a header. And then, okay, let's see how it looks like. Okay, so there's the blank line and then there's the header. So there's the ground floor and then there's the second floor, right? And another thing that you can do since this level here is already redundant because we already have the ground floor name here. So let's go to the format. So let's check out the formatting. So what I'm going to do is I'll select the level. I'm not going to remove the level field, but I'm going to select the level here on the formatting and I'm going to hide it. Okay, so hide it. Let's select OK. And there you go. So it's now hidden. So don't worry, we already have here the header, right? So you still know what level are these air terminals okay and you can also check out the filter so let's go to the filter you can filter it by uh let's say family and type that equals to let's say i want to show only i want to see the air terminals rectangular face round neck return grill 24 by 24 6 inches so i'm going to select this one so I want to filter my schedule by this uh, type, by family and type. So I'll select OK. So let's see. And there you go. So I only have this one. So that's how you make your schedule uh, specific. Okay, so you can change the name of your air terminal here. So maybe you can put return air terminal schedule. Okay, with, uh, with this type here. Okay, so that's how you play around with your schedule. Okay, so you can explore your schedule and see how it looks like when you modify it. All right, so again, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.